Number One Cochrane Sports Showdown is brought to you by Number One Cochrane. Go one better. And by Highmark Blue Cross Blue Shield. Have a greater hand in your health. All right, welcome back. Well, the Big Ten is now having second thoughts. Mark Caballi, they may go back and play, even though they said it was too unsafe to play. What's changed? It's the same backdrop that we have here. I think they just realized they're going to miss out on a whole boatload of money that the SEC and the SEC and companies uh, are going to pile into their pockets and they rethink themselves. I think that those conferences uh, blazed the path and they're realizing that uh, maybe they made a mistake and they need some cash and that's what they're going to do. I think they were too quick to make the decision. Um, you know, the ACC did the right thing and waited. I think this whole thing, it was just bad leadership at the top of the NCAA. The NCAA should have control of this, and the NCAA should have made the decision for all the conferences. I hate the way this was handled, and I think this is going to hurt the NCAA down the line and in the future. Yeah, I think the Big Ten commissioner just ran like a chicken. You know, he didn't show any leadership. He just decided to cower and take the easy approach. Well, this way I don't have to worry about lawsuits or anything like this. Instead of finding an answer, he went running scared. And now he's realizing the impact on these universities and not just the athletic budgets, but the overall school budgets for not having football this year. And you're seeing layoffs, you're seeing cuts, you're seeing all kinds of issues while you're watching other schools play that are in the same geographic region. I mean, it was just a horrible decision by the Big Ten, and they're trying to correct it now. Right. Maybe they will. We'll see. But they just made a horrible decision. Yeah, and it seems to me that uh, they looked at this, as Mark said, as a cash, and they missed the cash. They also realized you can still do this. Do it the right way. They came out with their schedule, and then six days later, they immediately leave, and they don't tell you why. There was no transparency. It was a terrible decision by the Big Ten, and now they want to change it the way it should have been. All right. Guys, thanks very much for that. I want to tell you about athletes. They aren't the only ones working hard these days. And that's why number one Cochran is paying tribute to the working spirit during their Labor Day event. From the front lines to the home front, number one Cochran thanks you for doing your part during these unpredictable times. They're also extending their best offers of the year, plus 1,000 over KBB for trades. Don't miss this last week of the Labor Day event at all number one Cochran locations.